And today we're gonna to make some cheeseburger dip. We'll grind up our own ground beef so it's nice and fresh. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. Let's get this cook going. Hey, the first thing we're gonna do is fry up some bacon. We've got a mock tender steak here. You can see I got just a little over a pound and a half. $5.79 a pound, not too bad on price. And don't let the name fool you, it's not that tender. It comes from the shoulder and you can see there's not that much intramuscular fat. So it's gonna be perfect to grind up into burger because I don't want a lot of fat in all this cheese sauce that we'll have. And we're just gonna cut this up into strips. It goes easier through my grinder that way. Now you can see I've got them all cut up. I'm gonna just take this in, put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to let it firm up it's easier to grind. Our mock tender steak has been in the freezer about an hour along with all the attachments for a grinder. Let's get it ground up. Tender has a really beefy flavor, so it's just gonna be perfect for this recipe. I've got that same pan with the bacon grease. I'm gonna get our burger in there. Get it fried up. I wanna get this nice and brown. Our burger meat's getting pretty brown. Now I'm gonna add in one half of a chopped red onion. Get this onion all mixed in, softened up. All right, burgers cooked up. Gonna get this burner off. You can see not any, like no grease. We don't have to drain it off because this is pretty lean. All right, let's mix this up. Here, I've got eight ounces of Havarti. Havarti is delicious. It's a creamy cheese, right? Gonna squish it over there. Here I've got eight ounces of pepper jack. Give a little spice, of course flavor, of course. Oh, had a casualty there. Here I've got eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Now I'm going to add in, you seen this stuff? Rotel. You can use tomatoes, but I like the flavoring of the Rotel. And because I don't have any jalapenos, I'm adding in one of these cans of Hatch Dry Green Chilies Hot. And then the final thing we have, we've got a package of Velveeta. You see it there? and a package of cream cheese. Wow, this stuff starts melting down, it's gonna be so awesome. Here, I'm going to put in about one tablespoon, what's this here sauce? And then the final thing I have, you do not need this for this recipe, but you can see I've got a little bit left of this mozzarella and Parmesan combination. It's going to go bad. I don't have any plans for it, so I'm gonna throw it in here as well. I'm gonna add a little salt, pepper, garlic. I'm using the That's Incredible. You can use your own salt, pepper, garlic. I'm going to put in about, I don't know, a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Let's get this over to the smoker. It's been one hour. Let's have a look at this cheeseburger dip. Let's get over here. Things are starting to melt in. Look at that goodness. Not quite ready yet. We're going to mix everything in together now. Oh, there's some super cheesy goodness. I didn't drain that Rotel, so it's a little too juicy for me. I want it to be thicker with cheese, so let's drain a little bit of that juice off. 
So I'm just going to take a little bit of this liquid out. Then I'm going to come back in with eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese across the top. Let's get this lid closed and finish this cook. You can see we've still got that nice smoke going. Our cheese is all melted on the top. And when we pull it out, let it cool down a little bit, it'll thicken up even more. We got all that hamburger spicy tomato and everything underneath. Let's get it out of here. Now let's finish this off. I've got some smoky hot sauce there. Then here in the center, we're gonna add some chopped fresh tomato. And you're probably wondering, what the heck happened to that bacon? It's a bacon cheeseburger. I think I had about eight pieces. Don't quote me, I lost count when I was cutting it up. You make however much bacon you want. And now, greenery. No, not parsley. Dill pickles chopped. This is a cheeseburger. <laughs> there you have it cheeseburger or shall we say bacon cheeseburger dip let's give it a taste here we go oh yes cheeseburgery all out hey if you can grind your own beef from steak from roast always tastes better than the grocery store if you can't well hey go buy you some ground beef and make this anyway and if you like this recipe i got two more dip recipes down below